What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. Today, we finally got the Hot Toys blogger photos for the Hot Toys Moon Knight figure. And it's creating some interesting conversation in the community. So, I want to talk about this figure and give you guys my reaction. If you guys like the video, hit the like button for me. Smash the subscribe if you're new to The Ben Thomas Show. And let's get into it. I give you Ben Thomas. Yo, Dad. Where are we going? everybody welcome back so again we've got the hot toys moon knight blogger photos finally and i gotta say i'm pretty happy with what i'm seeing right out of the gate now like i mentioned at the beginning of this video there's been a little bit of controversy with this figure already it would seem and of course it has to do with the chest plate on this figure now let's look at the good stuff first so for me here this costume i loved i loved the television show I thought it was great. I was surprised how many people found it to be on the lackluster side. I really liked the division of his personality. When I was in school, I studied um, multiple personalities or dissociative identity disorder, and I always thought it was a very unique condition and one that people really struggle with. And I thought that Oscar Isaac did an incredible job of showing that division of personality and the, you know, the ability to flip into those different characters that was really, really well done. So bravo to the Oscar Isaac performance, of course. When it comes to the figure here, I gotta say I'm pretty happy. Keep in mind, we saw originally the solicitation of the pre-order go up in April of last year. So it's been just over a year since we saw the figure and now we're finally getting it in hand. And this was a figure I pre-ordered right out of the gate. As soon as Moon Knight finished, I ordered the figure. I even went out and bought a comic book. I really liked it. And I didn't realize how similar to, you know, somebody like a Batman character Moon Knight was. I wasn't raised with Moon Knight comics, so I didn't realize just how cool the character was until the Marvel show. So I'm really happy that Marvel gave us this character and gave me the ability to kind of dive into it a little bit. The costume here looks fantastic on the figure. Now, one complaint that I do have is I wish that the hood was not sculpted plastic. Just for posability, I think it would have been better if it was it was fabric. Now, the argument could also be made though that whenever a hood is fabric, it does have a tendency to ride up a little bit. So that could be a bit annoying, especially for photography. So in that sense, the fact that it's plastic is certainly not a deal breaker by any stretch. It's very well matched to the rest of the character here, or this figure specifically. Now what I'm also seeing here is the wired cape it looks like. It looks like you can see that kind of thin subtle wire in there, just for the posability. Get it looking like it's a, you know, a drafty day for sure for Moon Knight. One of the things that I really noted on the show was how flowy his cape actually was, how much of a character that cape was as part of his costume. And I thought that was really cool. And the fact that Hot Toys is giving us this posability with the cape does make me happy. Now, one thing that I found with Hot Toys capes though, this is actually something I found on my black suited Superman, was that I actually have a really hard time getting that cape to lay kind of prone down at his waist, not making it look like it's a windy day. So I'm hoping that with regard to this particular figure that we will get a chance to kind of you know in terms of the material make it look like it's just draped as well I that worries me just a, a little bit but again not a deal breaker here guys I think the fact that they've given us wired cape is actually a win for the collector community the lit eyes on this figure I also think is going to be very cool now of course we know Hot Toys batteries are not always amazing so in terms of figure photography, I do think we're going to get some great photos with the lit eyes, but I do want to try and figure out a way to keep the, you know, the eyes lit permanently. Otherwise, I would be a little bit worried the character would look a little on the dead side, for sure. Now, let's talk about these chesticles. Or are they? I mean, guys, I got it with the Shang-Chi, okay? The Shang-Chi figure that came out from Hot Toys not that long ago, Kinda did look a little bit man booby for sure. 
this character or this figure, I see at certain angles having like a similar issue, especially with this photo. You can see how kind of rounded and cupped it is there. But I mean, to be honest, when I look at photos of the actual like show itself, let's bring that up really quickly here. It to me looks just like they've really captured exactly what this character looked like. Now, I mean, it's a little bit flatter maybe in this photograph, but look at here. This is a still right from the television show and it does have that rounded kind of breastplate. Now, they're pecs. They're not man boobs. They are, they just are, I, they're pecs. <laughs> I think at certain angles, sure, you could, you could make the argument that they're a little on the rounded side. But this is the way this costume presents in both the show as well as some of these still images that I'm seeing here. A little bit flatter in some, a little bit more rounded in others. I think it's hard when you're trying to capture a figure likeness to a character in a show to make it perfect because here, again, this looks a little on the flatter side now and this is the figure itself, right? So. I don't think it's going to be a concern. I definitely think you can pose that away, especially a little easier than what we saw with the Shang-Chi figure. Now, the coloration of the outfit does surprise me a little bit. I was expecting it to be a little bit more on the, like, the sandier beige side, uh, a little more dirty. This is cleaner than I was expecting, especially on the cape side. That cape is pretty stark white from some of these photos. Um, now again, could that be lighting? Potentially a little bit. Uh, it's something that if you wanted to weather up yourself, I think would be pretty easy to do overall. So I'm not too fussed about that either. Lastly, I do think that the figure base this comes with is pretty cool but I don't know if I'm ever going to display it. That moon base does take up quite a bit of space, so I don't know if that's going to be something that I display with the character, but I'd love to hear from you guys. Is that something that you're excited about as part of this release or not as well? So guys, tell me what you think. Are you going to pick this figure up? Again, I pre-ordered this in April of last year. This was a day one pre-order for me, and I don't normally do that. But the accessories that this guy comes with, I think are on point. I love the look of the character. I loved the show. I loved the way he portrayed dissociative identity disorder. I thought that was fantastic. Awesome performance from Oscar Isaac. Awesome performance. The one complaint that I will say that I still have that translates back from April was really with regards to Oscar Isaac not getting his own head sculpt from Hot Toys. I mean, the man is one of us. He's a collector like us. And he's had Poe Dameron. He's had this character, Moon Knight. He's also got, of course, the 2099 Spider-Man that has just gone through an update, by the way. We're actually gonna get a fabric suit for that figure, which is a huge win, in my opinion, when it comes to six scale collecting because Unlike what you know, folks say sometimes of, if you don't like it, don't buy it, the community had a lot of opinions on that figure, and we got it changed. We're getting the fabric suit. This release is a great release. This is going to stand out in your collection. The fact that, again, this collar does connect at the bite up base there could be a bit annoying. Not the end of the world. I do really, really wish we got that Oscar Isaac head sculpt. But guys, there are customizers out there in the world that are giving it to us. There's also third party figures that are giving us the the Mr. Knight suit uh, in a couple of different versions that also come with some Oscar Isaac head sculpts. Some of them are better than others for sure, but I think they could absolutely fit in with this character if you really wanted to. It remains to be seen how the head will disconnect from the body, so let's stay tuned on that for sure. But I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Is this a figure you guys are planning on picking up? Because I can't wait to get this in my collection. I can't wait to display it with the Marvel figures. And I am quite excited. The breastplate, it's a non-issue, guys, at this point. Let's be honest. But tell me what you guys think. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button for me. Smash the subscribe if you're new to the Ben Thomas Show. Make sure you throw your comments in the comment section down below. I will respond. I love hearing from you guys during the work days. And I will catch you guys on the next reaction video. Thanks for watching, everybody.